Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to take a look into this. This is a 3D printer kit I ordered from Amazon, as you may have guessed from the uh, from the title of the video. Uh, what I'm going to do, what I want to do in this video, let's just uh, do a bit of an unboxing, uh, pull everything out here, and uh, see what we got. What I might try and do as well, um, although I may cut these bits out. Is that I have had a quick look in here already. Um, there is some contents. There is a content sheet in here, so I may well um, check things off as we go. So let me stop waffling and start getting things open here. So let's get that out of the way. So first of all, like I said, I've got lots of uh, big inventory sheets uh, and some wonderful English here. Let me bring that up to the camera. Pause it for a minute. So you can read it. That'll do. That's enough English. Okay. So let's see what's in here. A uh, bunch of crappy tools. Not necessarily going to need those. They're probably going to be garbage. But uh, I've got my own. Never mind. Some. Uh, oh, some filament. That's uh, that's a wonderful colour. That's uh, that's actually quite a hideous colour. Never mind. No idea. Obviously it's a plate of some kind. Uh, this apparently is assembly instructions and um, oh look it's a writable DVD, there's a surprise. Um, now I have read on some of the reviews that the instructions can be a little bit um, confusing but uh, this company does have a YouTube channel as well uh, which has got lots of videos on there so I don't know. I'm probably not going to be putting this together today. I don't know yet. Let's see. Okay, so here's our heated bed. Not quite sure what that PCB is, aside from covered in metal shards. Hmm, thank you guys. Okay, sorry about that. Right, let's get on with it. This would be our heated bed. Let's take a quick look at that. Uh, still hot after okay I'm trying to make sure I remember to show things to the camera uh, okay so that's the heating element wire by the look of it this wire here we've got our uh, thermocouple there is that, a th is that actually attached can we see let me have a quick look at this a sec I don't know I'm gonna leave that capped on tape where it is as well just for now so Put these aside also. Running out of bench space here. Definitely running out of bench space. Let's put these down separate to everything else. I've moved everything. Okay. These are a bugger to get out of here. Uh, here's our threaded rods for uh, the Z, uh, the Z axis. Access, access. Uh, probably. Well, I don't know. They could be no. Um, X Y uses belts. I think I'm fairly sure the Z, excuse me Z access is the one. Access access is the one that uses the threaded rods. But, uh, oh, I've got cables dangling here. Let's not have dangly cables, shall we? These are chunky, chunky. Pieces of aluminium. I can see a lot of um, a lot of crap in there from where they've been machined. By the look of it, and I have to be careful to try and not get these pieces of uh, metal everywhere. What I may do is take this all outside and uh, give it a bit of a blast with um, some compressed air. Some brackets. Now these look to me to be corner braces. Got a handful of these. Another black metal thing. That's some more aluminium. Which is good because it's an aluminium frame. I specifically wanted an aluminium frame because I've got quite a cheap kit. I didn't really want to have um, acrylic which seems to be quite common or in some cases even wood. Wood does not seem like a good idea to me but uh, 
yeah, I specifically wanted aluminium because uh, obviously there's very little chance of it cracking when I over tighten the bolt. That layer's done, let's take this next one off. Ooh, lots of stuff. All right, I'm just gonna shift this box a little bit. Let me see if I can, there we go. And let's try not to knock my camera over. Lots of stuff here. So first of all, this thing, this is utter garbage. I mean, look at the size of the flex in this thing. This is one of something that one of the reviews mentioned, but look at the size of those cables. That is utter garbage. Do not use this, throw it away. Mains cables are dirt cheap. In fact, let me see. You grab this cable here a second. Got no others out. And this is just a cable for a PC. Um, and look at the difference. Look at the difference in how thick these are. Hopefully we're gonna be able to pick this up on camera. But look at how thin this cable is that comes with it. Forget it. Throw this thing in the bin as fast as you can if you buy this kit. Just uh, put this cable back because I actually need this monitor. Right, into the bin with you. We got some wooden pieces in here, I think. Looking at that, those look like those are wooden. Hmm, um, not sure what they are, haven't a clue. Lots of nuts and uh, presumably lots of testicle gags also because because nuts get it uh, I am most definitely running out of space on my bench here obviously stepper motors all of the stepper motors no idea what these are golden motor dot CN I wonder where these came from well to be fair everything comes from China pretty much the question is how good the quality control is. Um, man, these things weigh a ton. I didn't realize steppers were that heavy. Okay, I'm gonna have to dis detach my bench vise here to give myself some more room. One moment, I will be back with you in a sec. Okay, there we go. Hopefully the audio is okay, by the way, because um, I plan to try out using uh, a lapel mic I've had around for a while, but um, I didn't have time to set that up today. Um, I've got other things to do this evening, unfortunately. So, anyway, hopefully we're going to be okay. Oh, okay, these two... Uh, okay, we've got different size motors here. I see. Okay. Okay, so we've got two belts here. We've got some bearings as well as some... Um, okay things some gearings for the belts and some nice cable management it's I say nice it's probably not very nice never mind lots of pieces rubber feet big rubber feet and this is more I think this is actually everything I think this is it now yeah there's nothing else below this layer here so what we've got here will be the lot so hopefully I've got room to put all this out. I do want to try and start assembling this. Um, not sure if I'm going to have a chance to get to it this week. May have to wait until the bank holiday weekend next weekend. Okay, those will be linear bearings. Quite a few of them. Come on. How many is that? That's uh, six of those. Ugh. Try not to throw them everywhere, shall we? I am slightly concerned as to how much space this thing is actually going to take up on my bench here. I guess I'll have to... Oh look, we got some 3D printed parts. We got the... Uh, these here look to be 3D printed. Well, that's not unusual, to be fair. There's some more 3D printed parts down here. See a bit of a... PLA loose there. Or is this ABS? This might be ABS. I don't know. I don't suppose it really matters. Got some things. I don't know what they are, but we've got things. Got more 3D printed bits. Good lord. There is a lot of stuff in here. 
there is a lot of stuff in here. More bits. Oh, look at that. It's still got a bit of the raft on there. I don't suppose that'll hurt. I can clean that up with a Stanley knife later. Again, no idea what that part will be for. Although there's a bearing in there by the looks of it. So is that a bearing? I'm not sure. We will find out. Well, I'll find out anyway. Okay, so a couple of fans. Okay, there's our uh, there's our nozzle. Okay, cool. What else we got in here? That's gonna be a power supply. I'll have a look at that in a minute because uh, I want to talk about that a little bit more. A fucking awful cable. I don't need that piece of garbage. So what's this board here? Is this our inter? Ah, okay, there's our interface board. Let's have a quick look at this. So this apparently is based on the ramps board. Uh, I don't know anything about that, but apparently it is quite a standardized configuration. Uh, quite, it's a standard design. Um, I don't know. I think I shall have to jump on internet and look it up. What's this? Uh, oh, of course. I was going to say, what's this big IC here? But it's an Atmel. Of course it's an Atmel. Uh, let's see if we can see that. Can we see that? I don't know. I don't know. Does it matter? Probably not. Probably not. Let's carry on. Now there is an LCD in here somewhere apparently. That must be down in here. Okay, just a bunch of cables in there. Oh, we got another uh, thermocouple. Is it actually a thermocouple or is that an uh... Yeah, I think it's a thermocouple. What does it matter anyway? Oh, and switches. Cool. Uh, more bits for the extruder. Yeah, that looks like parts for the extruder. Some cheap rubbish gaffer tape. I've got better gaffer tape. I've got some decent, decent gaffer tape here. It's not gaffer tape, it's masking tape. Sorry. Um, I'm not doing ABS. Um, I should probably throw that in the bin. There we go. I'm not going to. I'm not planning to do ABS because ideally you need a, some kind of shroud around it to keep the heat in, and you also need to, some way of venting those nasty, nasty ABS fumes. But um, and apparently you're not going to need the masking tape. But screw it. I bought it anyway. I'm spending 300 quid on a 3D printer. I might as well buy an eight quid roll of masking tape. Okay. There's our LCD. They've sealed that. Ooh, SD card. Where's my knife? This is the problem. I've started moving stuff around in here now um, without really sorting things out properly, which I should really do. Let's take a quick look at this. I've started moving things around in here now, so I don't know where anything is. Ooh, we've got two boards in here by the look of it. Or is that? No, no, that is just one. It just looks like the... Uh, LCD board is sandwiched onto this uh, larger PCB down here. Kind of doing this at an awkward angle. I'm just trying to make sure that I can uh, keep everything in focus here. So, where around would it go? I don't know. We've got a rotary encoder here, SD card slot. Uh, not really much doing on there, to be honest. Not really much doing on there at all. Let's uh, let's put that back. Okay, last but not least in here is the power supply. Now this is the part that slightly concerns me and we shall see why because the power supply itself apparently isn't necessarily the problem. Have we switched to 220 volts here? Uh, let me get my screwdriver. Let's get a screwdriver. 
So to the left is 110. Okay, 110. Switch to 220. Good. So the power supply itself apparently isn't necessarily the problem. Um, apparently it is more than up to the task. Um, the issue is that you've got live neutral earth, so you've got bare terminals basically. You've got bare terminals down here to screw your live um, uh, live mains connections up to and hmm, I don't like the idea of that. I'm going to have to try and see what um, from the pictures and from the description what I can tell is this just mounts on the side of the printer and you screw your stuff in down the bottom here. Well you go, job done. But yeah, that doesn't seem entirely safe to me so I'm going to have to come up with some kind of um, arrangement of making this a hell of a lot safer. Okay, I'll just double check to make sure there's nothing else in here. Let's have a quick look. I did check but... Oh wow, that weighs a ton. Is there something in here? Okay, I've missed stuff. I thought I might do that. Oh, two of those. Did you see those? Doesn't matter. Do you care? Whatever. And lots of rods. Wow, they weigh a ton. Ow! Shouldn't have done that. Ow! <laughs> I hurt my hand now. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, now is this empty. Yes. Good. Okay. I'll just put all this packaging back. And we are good. So, let's uh, just clear some of the junk out of the way. Okay, so, that is everything that comes with this 3D printer kit. Now, what I'm going to do right now is, um, first things first, I think I'm going to do is just uh, let me go away. I'm just going to tick off stuff on this list to make sure I've, uh, make sure I've absolutely got everything. Obviously, I'm not going to look at, uh, can we see that? Obviously, I'm not going to go through an itemizer and make sure I've got the correct number of nuts and all that stuff. I did buy some spares because apparently um, a couple of the reviews have mentioned that there are nuts missing um, and apparently the nylock nuts that comes with it that come with it are shit so get some spares but uh, I do need to check that I've got absolutely everything on here so I think I'm going to do that first I'd like to start assembling this today I'd like to start assembling this today but I need to go off and start and uh, take a look at the instructions um, Apparently, from what I've seen, um, it takes about six to eight hours. I feel reasonably confident about um, you know, doing things with your hands, mechanical stuff. Um, if you're reasonably confident, it should take you about six hours, apparently. Um, so, I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll go off and... Uh, well, I need to do this first. But uh, I'll have a look at the instructions and uh, see when I think I should start doing this. I might have a bit of a crack this evening. I don't know. What I'm going to try and do, though... Um, I should have these things to hand before I start uh, planning to talk about them. Now, where in the bejesus did I put that pie? Where did I put my box of pies? Right over there. That's raspberry pies, not like meat pie. There we go. I've got um, this raspberry pie case here with a little flip down thing for the camera. So what I might try and do um, is not bash my um, tripod again. What I might try and do here, so let's, uh, let's show you. I've got this uh, shelving unit up next to my uh, up next to my workbench here, so I'm probably going to put the Raspberry Pi up here somewhere, maybe up on the top here, maybe next to maybe next to Ziltoid the Omniscient, and um, do a bit of a time lapse of the assembly. Um, assembly is not going to happen in one go, probably, but uh, never mind. It's fun. It'll be fun. Cool. Thanks for watching. That's probably enough waffling for now, and. Um, I'll see you next time.